Let me start by saying that I've been around markets, I've been around economic issues for a long, long time. And I think that the outlook for the United States economy, short and long term, and I would add for the global economy as well, is the most complex and uncertain in my lifetime, at least in my adult lifetime. And that suggests to me, at least, attaching a very high level of uncertainty to the probabilistic judgments you make as you think about your investment decisions, your business decisions, or your personal financial issues. And let me, and by the way, and that obviously creates a, a very difficult decision-making environment for investors, for business people, for policymakers, and for all others. And let, me, let me exemplify this uncertainty with, with the following anecdote. I'm part of a small group at the Council of Foreign Relations that has dinner together about once every six weeks or thereabouts. And it consists of highly experienced economists, some of whose names you would know. I mean, it's not the same people all the time, but it comes from a pool that's the same all the time. Highly experienced economists, as I say, some of whose names you know, uh, some very uh, well-established and highly successful private equity and hedge fund managers, and some policy people. One of the questions that we very often discuss is what is the probability that our political system will address the unsustainable fiscal outlook that we face. And I'd have to say that there's, there's a lot of uh, very serious concern on that score. And that very serious concern is itself one major uncertainty. If we do not address that fiscal, unsustainable fiscal outlook, then what are the consequences? And this makes further exemplifies the uncertainty we face. Some in that group think that what we'll try to do is to monetize our debt, and that will result in a very high rate of inflation. Some feel almost just the opposite, which is that we'll get higher interest rates because of the imbalances in supply and demand for capital, and the result is that we will have slow or maybe even stagnant growth for an extended period of time. And then there's some, and I'm in this group, who think that while those other two are certainly very real possibilities, that the more likely possibility, or the more likely probability is that if we don't address these fiscal issues, and I'll be discussing this later, that the result will be some kind of very serious crisis in our currency and bond markets. And the point of this is not to opt for one or other of those, kind of those possibilities, but simply to point out how here this very sophisticated group of people can come together and have three such divergent views, and that makes my point about uncertainty.